and welcome. In this brief video, we're going to be answering some questions about your Konica Minolta copier. We'll be discussing the operations and features of the machine so that you have a better understanding. In this video, our topics of discussion will be our operation panel and its functions, toner replacement, the paper path, and proper paper loading for when you need to change your paper out. Starting with the operations panel, I'm going to demonstrate this from left to right and show you exactly what all of these functions do. Here we're going to discuss the features of our operations panel. I'll explain them to you from left to right. This is our first column. It will be our color selection. From here, we can choose our preferred method of color. As default, we leave the black and white option selected. But, if you should find the need for color use, use the auto color selection. This function can distinguish between black and white and color on the pages you're printing or copying. This column will be our paper trays. When we're printing or copying, the pages we're duplicating will pull from the corresponding tray, provided we have the same size paper loaded in that tray. Our third column is for reducing or enlarging. This function comes in handy for copying checks, driver's licenses, or other forms of identification. There are several presets available, as well as the option to choose a custom percentage. In our fourth column will be our duplexing options. We have a one-sided to one-sided, one-sided to two-sided, two-sided to one-sided, or two-sided to two-sided. From here, selecting the menu button will take you to the home screen that lists the applications available to you. Here, we'll find copy, where we can set all of the settings for our current copy job. You can select fax, where you'll see pre-programmed all of your specific destinations. You'll be able to change your settings here at the bottom, which we'll go into in more depth in a little while. Our user box will actually allow you to store frequently used forms and files so that you'll be able to access them easily and at your own desire. From the front of the machine, you'll see this small panel. You can open it here to reveal your toners. You'll see that you've got your black, cyan, magenta, and yellow toners. These are keyed, so you cannot put the wrong one in the wrong spot. To change them, simply turn it to the left and pull out. You'll put your new toner in, lock it into place, and your machine's ready to go. Directly underneath your toner compartment, you'll find your waste toner box. This is a user replaceable item, and a good rule of thumb is that if it's blue, it's for you. You'll see these nice blue levers here that'll allow you to remove your toner box and replace it. Something nifty that Konica Minolta has done for us is they've color coded everything inside the machine with blue or green to let us know that it's okay for us to touch. Directly under the waste toner bottle, you'll find your paper tray. If you see over here, it's red, indicating that we do not have any paper in it. So what we're going to do now is talk about the proper way to load our paper trays. Here, you'll see our blue levers, blue for us. And what we want to make sure we do is snugly fit them where the paper is going to go. Then we want to get our stack of paper, lay it in, and you'll notice that these teeth will move and snap directly around the paper. The key here is remembering that they need to be very snug so that the machine knows what size paper is in them. From our paper trays, now we're going to discuss the paper path, which is what happens to the paper as it's going through the copier to have an image put on it. What's going to happen is that that paper is in there at its original orientation. Inside here, we're going to see all the fun stuff that makes a copy happen. The page pulls itself out from the paper tray and rolls up through these little rollers in order to get an image laid across it. Then it goes through our fusing unit, heating it up to a very, very high temperature. This creates a lasting image that won't be washed off the page. Once the page has gone through the fusing unit, it's going to travel across the machine here on this little bridge and it'll wind up here on our output tray. This is where you'll find your completed job, whether it be a booklet from your Sunday program or the invoice that your boss needed by 5 o'clock. 